Let me show you how to do depreciation on the HP 12C financial calculator. So the calculator has built in several popular methods, several popular depreciation methods. And these above these three keys in rather small um, kind of rust colored uh, print is SL for straight line depreciation, SOYD for some of the year's digits, and DB for declining balance. So if you want to put the information in, so let's just do an example. A machine costs $10,000. It has a useful life of five years and a salvage value of $2,000. So you're going to put the 10000 in as the present value. You're going to put the 2000 in as the future value. And you're going to tell it that the, the useful life is N, which is five years. So if you want to calculate the straight line method, now that's an easy one to calculate. You can probably do it in your head. 10,000, you subtract out the salvage value. 10,000 minus 2,000 is 8,000. Then you divide by the number of years, five, that's $1,600 a year. And it's the same every year. However, when you want to find it, you have to tell it what year. And the reason you have to do that is that it not only tells you the depreciation, it tells you what the, um, the book value is. So we're going to hit 1, and this function key, and above this percent %t sign is SL, and you can see it's $1,600. If you hit this swap XY key, you can see that the book value is 6400 if we do year two, same thing, function, SL, it's the same $1,600 depreciation, but if we swap this, you can see that the uh, book value is lower. If we want to do the sum of the year's digits method, which is a, an accelerated method, it allows you to um, expense off more in early years, um, I have some videos that discuss this, but for those of you who know what sum of the year's digits is, what you do is the same thing. Use the same approach. So you're going to hit one function, and you're going to hit over this uh, delta percent sign is sum of the year's digits, and you see it's 26, uh, 2,666, you know, 0.667. And again, if you hit the swap XY key, you can see what the um, book value is. If you do it for year two, same thing, some of the year's digits, you'll notice that this is a smaller amount than we had before because as we said it's an accelerated depreciation method so you're going to depreciate more um, in the early years and less in the later years and again you can see what the book value is by hitting that swap XY key. Okay, finally, let's look at the declining balance method. Here you have to tell it the percentage or the change. Now, the most common one you hear about is the double declining balance method. That means 200%. So here we're going to type in a 200, and we're going to put it in into the interest rate. And again, to get the answer, you do exactly the same thing. So you hit one function and above the percent key is DB, declining balance, so 4,000. And we should be able to swap. Oh, we can't swap that for the first year. Let's try it for year two. For year two, um, declining balance is 2,400, which is lower than the 4,000. Remember, it's a, um, an accelerated method. But we can swap it out here, so you can see that you know, this is now the new book value. So this method works, um, you know, or these function keys will make it easier for you to compute um, some of these common uh, depreciation methods.